me up, Scotty. Me up, Scotty. Thought I was capping when I asked her what happened. The world was eyes and you just went and vanished. Blame myself, I'm known for causing damage. Proud from both sides, we was destined for crashing. First time we locked lips, it was magic. No man. What's up everybody, Breeze is bringing back with another video. Today we got Suicide Squad Pitch Meeting. Now because Suicide Squad, the, well, the Suicide Squad is coming out next year, I figured why not do the pitch meeting for that. And it still holds a place in my heart as being one of the top five, one of my five, one of my favorite movies. No matter what the critics say, no matter what people say, people say it sucks. To me, it doesn't suck. The comedy, the, the action scenes, um, excuse me, the, the soundtrack. Phenomenal soundtrack. I will say, it was a little rushed. But anyway, besides all that, it was a great movie. Alright, come on guys. Will Smith was in it. <laughs> like that's gonna make it any better. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. So you have a new comic book movie script for me? Yes sir, I do. It's called Suicide Squad. Sounds dark, what's it about? Well first off, there's a guy who's like, hey, what if Superman had decided to rip the roof off of the Oval Office and fly away with the president? Who would have stopped him? Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be a tough question to answer. Nope, super easy. Barely really an inconvenience, inconvenience. actually. Dang, oh really? Right well this woman, Amanda Waller, realizes the only way to stop that from happening is to form a team comprised of a crazy lady with a baseball bat, a Are dude who's going? good with guns, Did a guy who can shoot fire, but and doesn't Diablo. wanna, an alcoholic Australian with Captain a stick, Dumeray. a reptile, and also Tool a witch who does weird things with her hips. What kind of things? Like if you tried to take your pants off without using your hands, it would probably look something like this. Wow, so this is like a lot of characters to introduce. Yeah, but I figure we could just freeze on them for a few seconds each and throw a bunch of text on the screen. And people are gonna have time to read all that? Well, I guess no. when people watch it at home, they can hit pause and read it. What about the people that paid to see it in theaters? Oh, well, they'll just have to deal with you know, not having character development. Fair enough, and so the idea is that these people would be able to stop Superman from stealing the president. That's what we're going with. Okay, well sounds like an interesting group of heroes. Oh no, they're all incarcerated the criminals. What? Yeah, Amanda Waller has to force them all to join the team by putting tiny bombs in their necks. Why would she want a team of bad guys? Are all the heroes dead or something? No, actually Batman and the Flash have cameos. Oh, so they like show up and help the Suicide Squad once they turn good? No, nope. they're the ones who put the Suicide Squad in jail. Okay, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm a little confused. Well, part of the concept is that the government will use them for covert missions, and if something goes wrong, they just blame everything on the Suicide Squad. Oh, okay, I got you. So, so what do they go up against in the movie? Well, the witch enchantress goes rogue, and so she makes a giant doomsday sky beam, and she also has an army of zombies with blackberries for heads. And enchantress is part of the Suicide Squad. That's right. So it really is the fault of the bad guys. They don't even have to pretend. Well, technically, the witch isn't a bad guy. She's just an archaeologist that got possessed by a spirit. Spirit. So if they don't manage to stop the magic archaeologist, she's gonna destroy the world. Right. And yep. so if that happens, the government will be like, well, don't look at us. This was all the work of a lady with a baseball bat and a guy with a gun and a reptile and a fire guy and an Australian alcoholic. Right, with the stick. Okay, um, any other characters I should know about? Well, there's the Joker. Oh, the Joker is in this. Yeah, he is, but this isn't your typical Joker. How so? He's got, like, slick back hair and he wears expensive clothes and he likes clubbing. So he's like... A douchebag. Exactly. But he's not just a douchebag, you know? He's also very damaged. How are we gonna get that across? We're gonna tattoo the word damaged on his forehead. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, he actually has a lot of clever tattoos like that. What are some of the other ones? Well, he's got like a laughing mouth on his hand. Oh, because he's the Joker. Right, and he also has a Joker skull on his chest. Okay, yeah, because he's the Joker. Yeah, and he has the word Joker written on his stomach. That makes a lot of sense because he's the Joker. Yeah, and on his chest and arms, he also has like ha 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 ha, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, 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 because he's the Joker. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but that, yeah, that also works that way. Very cool. So what's his role in the movie? Oh, he's like barely gonna be in it. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna kind of show up once in a while like, hey everyone, look how crazy I am. Whoa. Okay, interesting. And then during the big mission, he's gonna help Harley Quinn escape in a helicopter. Oh, well that's important. Yeah, but it's not gonna work and the chopper is gonna crash and explode almost immediately. Okay, so he really has no effect on the plot whatsoever. No, not you really. can cut him out and the plot would be exactly the same. Well, I guess killing the Joker in a helicopter crash is gonna be he a big surprise. Die, oh, he's not gonna die. Really? He's gonna survive a helicopter crash? Yeah, helicopter crashes in this movie aren't really a big deal. Oh, they're not lethal? No, not at all. It's actually kind of just how people get to the ground. Wow, so how does the movie end? Well, the squad have to kill Enchantress, but first they have to fight her brother, who's like, 
a thing. So Fire Guy is like, good news everyone, I'm secretly a Big Fire Guy. That's a good twist. Yeah, so Big Fire Guy lures Witch Brother into a corner where an army guy is gonna blow them all up. Wow, but I guess an explosion wouldn't hurt the Big Fire Guy. Oh yeah, oh, no, yeah, he will. dies. Oh really? So everyone in the squad is like, oh no, Fire Guy. Nobody cares about the army guy sacrificing himself too? Not even a little. That's cold. Yeah, so then they kill Enchantress, they go back to jail, and that's it. That's it? Yep. So what do you think? Well, the only part that feels a little weird to me is the fact that the Joker is in the movie, but he's not the main villain. Okay. So I just want to double check. You're absolutely sure that that's the right way to go about this. 100%. I will stand by that decision till the day I die. Well then, let's do it. Great. <laughs> As ridiculous as it sounds, that's exactly how the movie went. And I still like it. If you guys like this video, give it a like, comment, and let us see what you think. Share with your friends and enemies. Subscribe. Subscribe to the Cuzzles channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a video. And last but not least, peace. No, I'm the real thing. I hate to jump out of the window so soon. But I can't stop mistaking that smile for a moan. Got me in tune. Bittersweet when I hear that song. All is well when she home. Baby, it's been too long. What can I do to make up for how you feel now? She said it's made up. You hear now.